Let's take a look at circle properties. Now, as far as circles are concerned, there are really only four terms you need to remember. The first one is dead easy. The dot in the middle of the circle is the center of the circle. The edge of a circle, the perimeter of a circle, that is called the circumference. So the distance from this point here all the way around, that is called the circumference. Now, if you draw a line from the center to any point on the circumference, then you have created a radius. And a straight line from one side of the circumference to the other that passes through the center, that is a diameter. This point here to the center is a radius, and from the center to here is another radius. So the diameter is double the length of the radius, or the radius is half the diameter. So four terms, the center, the circumference, the distance all the way around the outside, the perimeter, if you like, radius being a line from the center to the circumference and a diameter, a straight line from one side of the circumference to the other that passes through the center. Now with circles, we need to remember two formulae for the area and for the circumference. So let's have a look at area. The formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now pi is a, a number that goes on to infinity. So it's 3.1415926. Like I say, it goes on forever. Uh, and in your test, they'll tell you what the value of pi is. They might say it's 3.14 or they might say it's just 3.1. Now pi r squared, this means pi times the radius times the radius. So this circle here has a radius of four. So the area is 3.14 times by four times by four and 3.14 times four times four comes to a total of 50.24 square centimeters. In this next example, again, pi r squared. So it's gonna be 3.14 times the radius times the radius, but 10 centimeters here is the diameter. So if the diameter is 10, then the radius is gonna be half that, which is five. So our calculation is simply 3.14 times five times five, and that comes to a total of 78.5 square centimeters. The formula for the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. So in this circle here, the circumference is gonna be pi multiplied by the diameter, but they've given us a radius. If the radius is four, then the diameter is going to be 4 plus 4, which is 8. So our calculation is 3.14 uh, multiplied by 8, and 3.14 times 8 comes to a total of 25.12 centimetres. In the second example, pi times the diameter is going to be 3.14 multiplied by the diameter, which is 10, which is 31.4 centimetres. So key thing to remember, the formula for area pi r squared and for circumference pi times the diameter.